Aloha everybody. Today I am so excited to share something with you guys. If any of you like to juice into health, I am so excited to share this with you. This is something that I've been doing for months and I've wanted to share with you guys. Today I just kind of went to the market and got so much stuff and I just needed to actually get this video made and done because what I'm going to show you, I actually make in bulk and will last probably for a month or so with my family of four. So today what you'll need are a bunch of ice crates, tons of veggies, tons, tons, tons of veggies. Today I'm going to be using kale, parsley, I'm actually going to add some cilantro also. I like to put lemons in um, and actually what I'm going to do is we're going to utilize the whole lemon except for the seeds, some celery, cucumbers, a um, couple different other things but for the most part I like to use carrots. I like to put a ton of different things. Now what you use for this is actually up to you. Your blenders. I actually am going to for the first time also use a smoothie blender. Um, but anything will work. I used to use the bullet and make cup by cup and spend the entire day actually blending. But as many as you can, if you have a big family and you want to make a large bulk amount, uh, just like I do, borrow one from the neighbor. The more the better. Let's get this potty started right. to get them all washed. I'm sure you don't need a tutorial on this, but make sure that all veggies are completely washed of any pesticides. Um, luckily where I got my vegetables, it's from a local market, grown in Connecticut, organic. Um, if you didn't get them, grab them. If not, just make sure that you wash them really, really well. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually Spray the top layer down, manipulate it, and wash these for about 10 minutes. Move on to the other vegetables, and I'll get back to you. I have majority of the vegetables cleaned. I just want you guys to take a look at actually how much vegetables I'm going to be blending. Because surprisingly, as much vegetables as I'm using, once you start blending them, they turn to nothing. So just imagine how many vegetables you can consume in a day with just one shake. Um, if you're going to use lemons, I did just want to show you guys to just kind of cut your lemons. We're going to use um, the outside peel, but cut the ends off and just get to the seeds. Pop the seeds out because you're not going to want to add those in there also. So I just wanted to kind of throw that in there. All right, let's start getting some kale in here. Pack it right in there. So I've added some cucumbers just because once these are blended, uh, they have a little more water content. You can also add apple juice. Um, just don't add orange juices, uh, any type of citrus drinks um, into the shake. And what this will do is actually make it a little more in liquid form so that way it'll get a better blend. But however you know to blend your vegetables, do it and get it done. Let's get it done. so listen guys I just wanted to show you exactly how much that made we utilized all of the kale that I washed out that I showed you earlier this also has a half of lemon in it and two cucumbers so just imagine how many nutrients vitamins minerals that you get from just a couple of cubes of this um, versus to how many bowls of salad that you would need that's the exciting part about about all of this all right, and I'm going to keep on going. What I like to do just because I make so much is every time I fill this up, I'm going to just dump it into a bowl. Everything is just going to be combined at the end. Trust me, I used to try to be all fancy and do every vegetable separately. Just beautiful colors, spinach, carrots, everything different colors, but trust me, it just gets to be a hassle where you have so many separate cubes and 
they're available and ready for your family, but it gets to a point where nobody's gonna wanna pick through each bag to kind of formulate their own shake in the morning. It's better to just get everything together. There's no vegetables wasted. You know that it's being frozen, so you know, you go to the grocery store, you buy vegetables for salads, that type of thing, um, and they last for a day or two, and they're completely wasted. This way, you have cubes on end, and you can add them to any shake that you would like. So I'm gonna keep on going. So a little tip also, and I just remembered this because I'm not using apple juice or any type of juice, is keep partial purified vegetables, liquidated vegetables in the, con actually the blender, um, and that'll actually help everything else and make a mess. It's all right to make a mess if you're not making a mess and you're not having fun. Oh my God, people, the cilantro smells so amazing blending like I don't know if your family doesn't like cilantro or unless they have an allergy but trust me even if you put cilantro into your cubes you will not taste them just remember whatever happens just have fun almost forgot the nana don't forget all the ingredients that you want to add in there. Do it all together. So check this out guys. Remember all those veggies? All in one bowl. So just imagine how many vegetables you can consume with just a couple cubes. So, how easy was that? The greatest thing is, is I bet you thought I was done. I'm not even close. But my family thinks I'm done. Let me just tell you a little bit more of what I do that makes these cubes just that amazing and why I'm so excited to share this with you all. Add turmeric, which contains bioactive compounds, increases the antioxidant capacity of the body, a natural anti-inflammatory and pain reducer. I'm also going to add flaxseed meal, which are just high in fatty acids, omega-3s, and they're pr it's protein and fiber. I'm also going to add some ginger. Um, you just cannot taste the ginger, but ginger is just so amazing. This should be something that everybody consumes on a daily basis. It helps with Alzheimer's, it's good for digestive issues, pain, colds, flu, it's an anti-inflammatory, it lowers blood sugars, improves heart disease, lowers LDL levels, and may even prevent against cancer. I'm also going to add some matcha green tea. It's high in antioxidants, boosts, the, boosts memory, increases energy, promotes weight loss, and fortifies the immune system and detoxifies the actual body. Um, I am also going to add some tri powder. I actually get this from the Indian Mart. It is just absolutely amazing. It helps fight disease, it rejuvenates the body, supports healthy digestive, and it's also an antioxidant. But the thing with this is you just want to add just a little bit of the trifala if you're going to use something like this. But again, what I'm showing you today is not something that's written in stone. This is just something that I have come up with. So if anybody's told you that they've done this before, you've heard it here from me first. <laughs> but you can actually um, add anything into these um, veggie cubes as you wish. Anything that you find that's beneficial to your health, add it in. Because at the end of the day, once you add it into whatever shake blend you use, a protein shake, um, I actually use muscle milk and I love it. Um, you will not even taste all of these ingredients that have been incorporated in here, but you get maximum benefits. Um, I'm also going to add some amla powder. That also fights disease. It's rich in vitamin C, calcium, iron, um, flavonoids. It's also a powerful antioxidant and it reduces harmful buildup of free radicals and oxidative stress. Everybody 
everybody has oxidative stress. Everybody stores stress and that's something that you actually want to rid out of your body. Um, I'm going to actually add wheat germ also. Wheat germ is a fiber. It contains folate, vitamin E and B. It lowers cholesterol, helps increase stamina, decreases stress, and great for your muscle tissues and nerves also. This is actually one of my favorite ingredients to use, which is cardamom powder. I also got this from the Indian Mart, but this actually works as like a cancer cell eater. So I definitely love to put this in um, a lot of things that I make. I also mix cardamom with just um, honey, and it's something that you can take a spoonful before you go to bed, honey and cardamom. Um, you can also use dandelion root. That's amazing for fighting cancers. And that's one of the things that um, kind of brings my heart into what I make. I, I own a store and I actually make natural products also. But these are things that I like to incorporate just because I worked um, so long for a natural health and chiropractic practice and learned so much about the body. And the one thing that I do love to try to achieve is anything that fights against cancer. I throw everything in the blender again, the ginger. There are no specific measurements at all. You just do it to taste or just get everything in there and adjust it afterwards. Some wheat germ. I've done this a couple of times, so I, I really do not need to measure. Plus, I'm part Filipino, and when we cook, we don't measure. I left a little liquid vegetable at the bottom of the blender. I'm going to just add a little more. Blend. And bazinga! Add it all back in. Here we are, folks. Pop them in the freezer, and I will see you manana. Here you have it. Oh. Different shapes. Pucks. Any size that you'd like. I myself like a couple of the cubes, so I just like to grab one big puck, throw it in my shake. I'm just going to throw them into Ziploc bags. I like to double bag to make sure that they don't get any freezer burn. So this actually will last my family of four. I have teenagers um, and myself. I juice every day. So there's absolutely no excuse for skipping breakfast. Um, you throw in a couple pucks, blend your shake. You can have a whole entire meal in two minutes made and it, just consume it. But no excuses for breakfast, a snack. Um, if you want to turn your shake into a meal replacement, you can easily add um, some oatmeal, some fine oats um, into it. It'll actually stick to your stomach better and actually be a total meal replacement. When I do do that, it pretty much holds me for three to four hours. So it's actually a really, really great nutritional meal replacement. There you have it. So my final words are just remember that this is not written in stone. Um, I've used honey, I've added coconut, coconut milk, cinnamon, um, anything that you find beneficial, throw it in there. It's wonderful, packed with nutrients, minerals, everything that you possibly need, um, plenty of fiber. So it's actually great and wonderful and the perfect thing to incorporate into your daily regimen. That's why I was so excited to actually share this with you. So until next time, mahalo. Unless you check me out on my Etsy store, which is Lokahi Hawaii. Um, until then, I'll see you. Thank you. If this video wasn't for you and you know somebody that's into health and juicing, pass it along to your friends, family, neighbors, and I'm sure that they will thank you later. Cheers.